remember the footage from that interview where they were asked about love and he And I suppose in love. Of course. <laughs> Whatever in love means. <laughs> like he would not even verbally say that he loved Princess Diana on camera. Embarrassing. Look here, there's a lot of things in this life to be embarrassed for. Trying very hard to accomplish your goal, but a man? Absolutely not. Bent at you out here again. A man? Piss me off. Is Taylor Swift falling victim to the Princess Diana phenomenon in her relationship with the Kansas City's chief, Travis Kelsey? If you don't know what the Princess Diana phenomenon is, here is the review. Princess Diana phenomenon is basically when a man pursues a woman because she is perfect or she fits into the perfect idea of his life, but he still mistreats her. In fact, he ends up resenting her for the things that make her wonderful. And even though his status increases with her, he resents that he has to ride her coattails. This phenomenon is prevalent in situations where the woman is rich, successful, or wildly famous. But as mentioned in the original video, it doesn't have to be money or career that the man resents you for. He could literally just resent you for being happier than him. So if you want to get better at not getting duped by the games that men in society play, this is your channel, babe. Subscribe. Like, subscribe, comment, and if you're really about that life, join the Patreon. Patreon gives you access to the deep dive of each episode, plus bonus content and article work. It was cultivated to be an archive of information of how to help them people survive in a misogyny mystic world. I used to rest at home, now I prefer alone. I'd rather do this on my own than be disrespected and feel so neglected. We've unfortunately been seeing this play out a lot recently. News recently broke that Parazi Potty cheated on Meg the Stallion. It has come out that that insecure bomb has been putting his hands on Kiki Palmer? Kiki Palmer? My Madam Vice President? Are you for real? Be for real. Be for serious. I want his address. I want to pull up at his house. Where you at, Zarius? What's coming out? So I, I, I just want to talk. We do see and it with women of all backgrounds. I would say Tom Brady and his wife Giselle would be a perfect example of the Princess Diana phenomenon. He married one of the world's first supermodels and put her on a shelf like she was a trophy. That's a big element of the Princess Diana phenomenon. I bagged this trophy, I put it on the shelf, I'm taking it home and it better not say anything, it better not get in the way. It lives to be an object for me. And I think it goes without saying that anything said in this video is basically just speculation based on what we can see in the public because it is my belief that chit-chatting about the signs of what to look for in a Princess Diana phenomenon situation helps protect you. This is how we learn by dissecting public situations. Now, at first glance, I think they're very cute. I think they're a beautiful beautiful PR couple in that they might be in love and if they are in love that's a beautiful bonus but more importantly I think their relationship passes the Princess Diana phenomenon vibe check number one because Travis is always so brilliant in the way that he speaks about her to the public again yes it's curated yes it's PR but, but even when we look at some textbook cases of the Princess Diana phenomenon find a little history of checkered behavior of how these men are talking about their partners in public of course there was Smarius infamous making his but you're a mother comment about Kiki Palmer's dress at Usher's residency. Because to be real, you don't have to agree with everything that your partner does, but what you should not do is communicate to the world that you are not a united front. I wouldn't even do that to my homegirls. You know what I mean? Like we're not out here embarrassing our people. That's ridiculous. You definitely should not be doing that to your partner, especially when you know that we live in a misogynistic and a misogynoid world. Why would you be the person that opens up your partner to that kind of ridicule? That's ridiculous. Even Prince Charles, but you guys remember the footage from that interview where they were asked about love and and I suppose in love of course <laughs> whatever in love means <laughs> like he would not even verbally say that he loved Princess Diana on camera embarrassing look here there's a lot of things in this life to be embarrassed for trying very hard to accomplish your goal trying something to figure out who you are trying something just for the experience of trying it but a man absolutely not absolutely I bet I you out here getting in a man piss me off Number two, Travis seems genuinely happy to show up for Taylor. He seems like an incredibly supportive boyfriend. Again, it's not that this cannot be faked, but usually when it is faked, it's like pulling teeth. But there were some times where he genuinely did not feel like showing face for me, so he'd show up. This was in reference to an ex-boyfriend that was so jealous of me that he constantly sabotaged me. 
but he kind of had like a little attitude when he would have to be in these spaces. Like he wouldn't be as mixy or he'd make like little jokes at my expense of why the thing that we're doing is dumb or why his girl has dragged him to the thing. Like energy was off sometimes. And again, we're not sitting in these rows with Travis Kelsey, but he seems to be genuinely so freaking excited to show up for Taylor. And again, it's just really, really cute. And number three, only time can tell. Problem with modern dating is that everybody wants a hack so that they know immediately if this person is their person. They wanna know within a week, two weeks, a month. Is, is this person my person? Is this person safe? Is the person gonna abuse? You can't know. That is the thing about life. You have to do your best to keep your eyes open, understand what feels okay, what doesn't feel okay, and be bold and brave and confident enough to say no and rail against it when people cross your lines. And you need to keep score. You don't have to run away every time somebody crosses a boundary or a line or does something sketchy, but you keep score. You see how often people create harm in your life and you keep note of when they make the same mistakes over and over again. Are they learning or are they putting you through the same hardships continuously? A person who loves you, a person who cares about you is going to do their best not to keep making the same mistakes, but it cannot be promised that they will not make new mistakes. And the same thing goes for you. You should be making new mistakes in dating, not the same ones not the same people. And if you're new here, you're in luck because that's basically what we talk about here is how to make better mistakes in dating so we have a better, more evolved, healthier, happier life in general. So if you want to get better at not getting duped by the games that men in society play, this is your channel, babe. Subscribe, like, subscribe, comment, and if you're really about that life, join the Patreon. Patreon gives you access to the deep dive of each episode plus bonus content and article work. That is where you will get the deep learning of every concept that we go over on this page. It was cultivated to be an archive of information of how to help them people survive in a misogynistic world. It is all about psychological warfare and you can be armed and ready or you can be duped. In a perfect world we could just go out hearts open and trusting but we don't live in a perfect world so we have to arm ourselves, protect ourselves with information, strategies, theories, and understanding in community more than anything. When you are in community with like-minded people who have similar ideas, goals, and struggles, you are are less likely to fall prey to systematic oppression. We live in a system that thrives on us being separate. Our community on Patreon is almost 20 strong. Our newsletter community is almost 200 strong. Our Instagram broadcast channel is almost 200 strong as well. And it is all very exciting, but Patreon is the place that you need to be to access all the in-depth content, bonus material, and chats with me. I'll see you there, besties. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. Specifically, tell us if you've ever experienced the Princess Diana phenomenon. I think a lot of women would benefit from knowing that they're not alone in these situations. A lot of times we feel like it's our fault when these things happen to us, especially situations regarding romantic relationships. So drop a comment below to ensure that another member of this community does not feel alone. I used to rest calm, now I prefer alone. I'd rather do this on my own. Be disrespected and